See, if y'all goofball, I'm a goofer since don't know. I am a black bisexual male. <laughs> uh, came out when I was 15. Yeah, I was 15. But anyway, anyway, we're going, okay. So it's day at school, and this is my sophomore year. And this little short little boy wanted to fight me. I didn't want to fight. So, I called my mom. Well, it was after school. I called my mom. And I didn't want to walk down because he was going to meet me at the corner to fight me. And I called her. And my mom was like, no, I can't pick you up. I'm not going to be able to pick you up. I'm at home. So, I was like, okay, whatever. So, then I called my cousin. And... She picks me up, and all my friends are there waiting on, waiting for me, cause they didn't want me to get jumped or anything like that. Like, jumping is for losers. Like who, like who jumps in twenty eighteen? It's not twenty eighteen. It wasn't twenty eighteen. It was twenty sixteen. It was twenty sixteen. So as I'm waiting for my cousin to come pick me up, well, I'm waiting. I'm still waiting. She pulls up. I tell everybody bye. I get in there. I go. And then she starts interrogating me. She's all like, why did you, um, why are they messing with you? Why are they messing with you? I was like, I don't know. I don't know. And she was like, is it because you're not straight? Something like that. It was something along the lines of that. And I was like, no, I'm bi. And she was like, oh, wow. She was like, I already knew. And I was like, hmm. She was like, I knew that you were from all them weird Instagram posts that you be posting on your Instagram. This is like my old Instagram. This is my freshman and sophomore year Instagram. If y'all trying to find it, it's O-K-A-Y-X-D-J. So then we had one of those talks. It was basically like I knew and da, 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 all that kind of stuff. And so I don't get picked, I don't get dropped off at home. She takes me to her apartment in the next city over. So like my house is down the street from my school. But we just chilled there for a little bit, and we talked more about it. And I was crying, you know, the usual kind of stuff. And, like, it was really to where she was like, if you really want me to, I can go with you and help you tell your mom. And I was like, yeah, that would be cool. I'd want, I really like that. Like, I, I actually like the fact that she wanted to come with me. So I wouldn't be scared to do it on my own because I wanted to tell her for the longest time. And like, I really feel like my mom would have hated me for that. <laughs> you know, like. So then that next day, I called her, I called my cousin. And she was like, you ready? And I was like, yeah, I was ready to tell her. So I told her. So she came in my house and we told her together and I cried. And she said she knew. You couldn't be surprised? Can you be surprised? Dang, I just wanted you. <laughs> that was on my chest for the longest time. And you knew since I was three. <sighs> my life is garbage. Oh my goodness. <laughs> she knew, like, this is the word. But basically, my word of advice for people who are like closeted or whatever, you could help. Eventually, yeah, you might not want to. You're too scared or whatever. But it's better you tell them than to, like, somebody force you to tell. Because eventually with me, it was going to come out eventually. But, like, at the end of the day, you should be comfortable who you are as a person. Like, me, I'm still not comfortable. Like, I can't act a certain way around certain people because I'm too scared of what they think. And I'm trying to break that habit 
But like, you shouldn't have to be scared of somebody who you're really. <laughs> you should not be scared to be who you truly are. And well, anybody can tell you that. I'm just one of the people who are saying it. But don't be scared. Always, at least, if you're kind of closeted, like, me, everybody at school knew, but nobody at home knew. If you have it like that, then yeah, have it to where some of your friends know. And maybe, like, find, like, that one, that one trusted adult. I actually sat here, I came out to my little cousin. She was 11. I told her when she was 11. She didn't care. She kept that secret for, like, a year and a half. Then I told her mom, my cousin, who went with me. But like, yeah. I think that's all I have to say right now. Um, <laughs> Happy National Coming Out Day. <laughs> that was my story. Um, I don't know. Oh, mm. I'm never freely. You're watching. Did I forget my intro, intro outro, outro? <laughs> I'm never really. You have seen me discover. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>